Fall looks a little different in the South. Our leaves may not change colors, but we know how to make all different shades of sweetened teas. Hi friend, here is the hair reveal. Last week I put in DP Hue, which is a um, nourishing hair color that's a lot better than like the harsh chemicals for your hair and you just put it in every time that you're conditioning and it lightly colors so I think I can definitely tell that there is an auburn hue especially on the ends I really like how it turned out and then my heatless hair rollers did a really nice job of just giving a little bit of curl to my hair this morning it's a good option for when I'm trying to let my hair rest and just get healthy. So I'm pretty happy with how all that turned out. If you can hear the mower in the background, just ignore that. We're trying to get some yard work done today. I am sipping on my strawberry basil tea I made this morning and working up my energy to finish the butternut squash ravioli recipe that is a little bit adventurous that I'm taking on handmade ravioli but it's gonna be so yummy in fall and I just really wanted to give it a try so hopefully that turns out well I love the squeaking sound of a good rolling pin at work it reminds me of baking seasons with my mom and my two grandmothers and it's a way to bring the colors and the scents of autumn into our homes and an opportunity to read old recipes passed on from the ones we love we put in some work on our chicken coop for our little silkies and then we rewarded ourselves with one of our favorite treats After a supply run the day before, we were fully stocked on soil and sunshine, and my papa came over to show me his tried and true way of starting seeds in cups. I combined papa's wisdom with my new grow bags and started working my way through our fall seed packets. There's an couple of okras come out. Can the chickens eat that? Probably. Couldn't find my pliers or my shears, so knife works. You <laughs> didn't even wash them. <laughs> Charlie brought home some boxes so that we could use the cardboard and mulch as weed barriers for our garden aisles. I'm learning to not just look forward to the harvest at the end of all the things we're growing, but to really enjoy the planting and the pruning because the majority of our time is going to be spent right here. Charlie set up a watering system for all of our little sprouts so that they would have what they need to grow. We shared a cozy candlelit skillet dinner that Charlie made for us that night before he began working on his poolish.
So we're going to make it, and that's going to ferment overnight. And the then we bun. can make our pizza or Yeah, so you get it. In? Yeah. We just have to get the yeast melted and the honey melted so that we can mix in the flour and make it. It might not be pronounced poolish, but he says poolish in the videos. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Excited about the pizza oven? I am trying to be disciplined in my excitement because I don't want you to catch how excited I am in this video. <laughs> Alright, so we're making Sarah's trellis for her pumpkins. So that means we have to put metal all up here and make it beautiful and enchanting. I need to be effective. Can you do me a favor and push that in for me? Oh no, I think I broke a leaf. Shoot. not tight, it won't germinate. So like, that was one, right? So you want it to pack it. We celebrated our third wedding anniversary and 10 years of life together. I hear the sound of empty streets. Yesterday has gone to sleep. So all that's left is you and me. I can promise you're the only thing I see. Running out of sight 